In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to put a spotlight on a person in an action video or how to put a label on that person. You can also use this technique for something inanimate. You often see it, for example, in NASCAR where they identify the driver of a vehicle going around a track. But let's look at how we can do that in this simple exercise where we look at two guys on a team playing volleyball. What I'm going to do is I'm going to want to track uh, the guy with the number four on his back and I will put a spotlight on him. To do that, I simply click on my clip, which I have in track number one. And then I, from the menu above, I click on the tools option and choose the second item down, which is motion tracker. It will take a few seconds and pop up a motion tracker window. Now I have a couple tracks I've done before and I'm going to remove them. I simply right click and say remove tracker. So we'll start with a blank slate here. Right click remove tracker. Yes. Okay. Now I'm going to add a tracker and it goes for the length of the clip. Uh, my in and out marks are the yellow ones and we're starting at the beginning of the clip. That's what the little white indicator shows me. When you open up the motion tracker, it opens up to track what's ever in the middle of the screen. It's the white box with all the handles on it. Well, I'm going to make it as small as I can, which usually increases the efficiency, and drag it. I'm going to track the contrast and color here. So you try to get something that makes it easier for the software to say, I know what you want me to follow. Once you have the, the tracker, on top of the item you want to track, you simply click the track button and you have to wait a few seconds. It will go ahead and put that a little bit of a yellow thing on that particular guy. Now we're going to have to stop the clip here because they change sides and uh, that doesn't help me. So I'm going to go back a little bit, uh, drag back over here. Uh, should have had a little bit, bit of a longer clip. I'll stop there. And I have a mark in, mark out. This is my mark out. I'll click here and it will shorten it to this sequence here. So as long as these two guys are on this side of the net, I'm going to attempt to track this guy in purple. So once I have the tracker set by clicking this button and adjusting it if I need be, I need to use an effect. I'm going to click on my effects button over here. And we can choose the type of max, mask, box, circle, whatever. I'm going to choose a circle. And then the type of, I'm going to choose is a spotlight. And I can have the color of the light. I'm going to pick a, a yellow that you can see very clearly. I can change the brightness and gradient. I like using the bottom button, which is adjust effect size with tracked object. So the farther away from the camera the item is, the smaller the circle will get the closer the bigger. So we're going to move our scrubber over to the beginning of the clip where I have it and now I have not a white box but a blue box inside the white box. The blue box is my spotlight. So if I take and drag that I can make it an ellipse, I can make it a circle and I can change exactly where it is on my object above below to the side or right on top of. We'll try that for now. And I'm going to click on OK. And now let's we're back to our preview window in our regular clip. Let me go ahead and play it and you'll see how well it did. It follows him pretty good. Has a hard time when he goes off the screen. It completely lost him there but he picked him up a little bit. OK. So it, the, the more your subject is off the screen or the more you have things come between the camera and the subject, the easier it is for the tracker to lose them. Let's track something else because you can track more than one item in a clip. We'll move back to the beginning. I'll, I'll highlight my clip. I'll return to my tools menu and go back to my motion tracker. I get a, uh, a question, do I want to continue? I'm fine with that because I'm not in 3D mode. So now I have a tracker on him, but I want to put a tracker on his partner. So what I'm going to do is click on Add a Tracker. It, again, it starts out at the very center of the screen. So I'm going to narrow, small, make it smaller and focus on my 
other player here. Now I will click track. And we'll go ahead and click it. And now they've changed sides, so I don't need him. He's uh, actually serving now. So we'll back it up right to about there. I could use my frame to get it perfect, but this is good enough for now. I'll do my mark out. And so we're going to track this guy for this duration of time. Now, what I'm going to do with this highlighted, I'm going to use a, uh, not a special effect, but text. I'm going to say his name is uh, Jacob. And we can control the size of the name. Make it really big. The color, if we want to, we can change it to, I'll change it to a red. I'll give it a border, a black border. I can change the font size if I want. And uh, let's for fun put it right above him. So that's the relationship between the box. It will actually add uh, an item in the track below my image that just says Jacob. And he's right above my tracker here. So that's, let's try that. I'll click on OK to close my motion tracker window. And then we'll go back to the beginning. OK, and see what it looks like. I'm going to click uh, play to uh, show the preview. And OK, the name is sticking pretty much with Jacob. And the spotlight with his partner. And see, Jacob doesn't leave the scene, so it's a lot easier to track him. And we're done up until the moment in time when they change sides and we have a different clip. So that gives you an example of how you can use um, the motion tracker to create a spotlight or a label for any moving object or person in an action clip.